Ukrainian families reunite with children they say Russia kidnapped, put up for adoption. Here's a summary of the article. After being imprisoned by Russian authorities for 45 days Yevhen Mezhevi told ABC News he was finally freed and quickly suffered another trauma. His children had disappeared. Mezhevi traveled through Russia for two days, communicating with a network of volunteers through the encrypted messaging service Telegram, and staying on strangers' couches, before he finally reached his children. According to Mezhevi, his children were being told, your father can't make it. Mezhevi's children are just three of the more than 11,000 children the Ukrainian government says have been deported by Russia thus far, taken from areas it has invaded and then brought back to be raised as Russian. Last week, 52 children at an orphanage in the Kherson region, deemed medically fragile, were taken to an unspecified, safe, area in Russia. Russian officials in Zaporizhia announced they would soon transfer 40,000 Ukrainian children to Russia, saying that the system of care in occupied Ukraine is inadequate. In May, Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a decree making it easier for Russian families to adopt Ukrainian children. This post received a score of 9,800, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I'm glad for every child who can be reunited with their Ukrainian relatives. Sadly, there seem to be many more that haven't yet been, or are at risk of being abducted. The fact that they're sending them to Ukraine's enemy instead of their allies says everything. Fuck Russia. Russia is a terrorist country. Terrorists do what terrorists do best. This is human trafficking, plain and simple. How low can Russia go? Every day there's a new low. There seems to be no bottom to their depravity. Not just human trafficking, it's straight up genocide. Yup, no different than Nazi Germany. I definitely think Putin is a Hitler. He's a Hitler with the benefit of history's lessons, dot and bristling with nuclear weapons. That cuts both ways. Russia sending all the young to die to capture kidnapped Ukrainian children has to be one of the most mind-boggling things I've ever heard. These poor children are just caught in one of the many confusing and convoluted cogs in Russia's machine to achieve God knows what. The eradication of Ukraine is a culture, nationality or concept. They'd probably even be able to use those Ukrainian-born kids as adults later to try claiming the land yet again. 1. Russian Commissioner for Children's Rights Maria Lvova Belova needs to be tried at The Hague for ethnic cleansing. 2. The system of care in Ukraine being inadequate is because you invaded and destroyed the place you fascist fucks. 3. Fuck Russia. Russia is a terrorist country. Terrorists do what terrorists do best. Human trafficking added to the list. That's what happens when you remove intelligent people from the gene pool. Communists did a great job at making a nation of obedient sheep. Not just human trafficking, it's straight up genocide. Ethnic cleansing at the very best. It's hard to think of anything crueler. Is this not a war crime? Even worse, this is literally genocide. Pure evil. So they send ethnic minority Russians to kidnap Ukrainian children to be raised in Russia? What kind of shit is that? It's amazing how much you can get away with when you have nuclear bombs. Ironically, we once helped persuade Ukraine to give their nuclear weapons to Russia in exchange for promises to keep them safe. Greater than Mezhevi's children are just three of the more than 11,000 children the Ukrainian government says have been deported by Russia thus far, taken from areas it has invaded and then brought back to be raised as Russian. Holy shit, this is another level of evil. Russia can eat a giant dick. Deeply wounding and traumatic for all involved, if they even survive. What a nightmare. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.